terrain, greasy surface, mixed up grid. Anyone fancy the Turkish Grand Prix today? I know I do. Welcome along to the 8th World Championship Turkish Grand Prix. It's round 14 of 17 in this 2020 season. And this could be the day that the driver's title is decided as well. There is going to be a high chance of the safety car coming out at the end of this first lap. Let's keep our fingers crossed that we all get through safely. It's the Turkish Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. And they are crawling off the line, especially Max Verstappen. Hamilton, though, gets a really good start past his two cars already. Stroll is in the lead, going into turn one ahead of his teammate, Sergio Perez. Hamilton on the inside of Danny Ricciardo. As Esteban Ocon and, crucially, Valtteri Bottas spin out and away onto the uh, runoff area at turn one. That is a horrendous start for Bottas. Not what he would have wanted. Sebastian Vettel already ahead of Max Verstappen. And Alex Albon in the thick of it as well. Verstappen moved away nicely, then just went absolutely nowhere. Where it was the two Renaults that made connection. I think it was Ricardo just tapping his teammate round and then Valtteri Bottas spinning in sympathy. Albon going wide and off the track. Giovinazzi's got ahead. Uh, sorry, Kevin Magnussen's got ahead of Kimi Raikkonen who's coming back at him as well. It's been a decent start in the McLaren, I think, for Lando Norris. There's Verstappen having a little look at Sebastian Vettel going into turn seven. But it's Lance Stroll and Sergio Perez, one, two in these opening stages for racing point and we can see riding on board with Verstappen just how treacherous it is and uh, they fancies a bit of a run around the outside I think the Red Bull will have more grip but that start was perfect for racing point we know they can fire their tires up and get down the road because at the moment Verstappen is on his back foot he's lost a lot of ground brilliant start for racing point so Stroll leads Perez and there going wide is Lewis Hamilton I was going to say Stroll leads Perez leads Hamilton but no leads Sebastian Vettel what a start from him from 11th on the grid now Alex Albon is overtaking Lewis Hamilton as well and Max Verstappen, I should say, is overtaking Lewis Hamilton as well. Here comes Alex Albon. He might fancy a run at the Mercedes going into the next corner because he's got hotter tyres. Hamilton's been off the track. Down the inside goes Alex Albon. Does he take the place? Hamilton will try and fight it if he can, but he just hasn't got the grip to do so. He's skating around on thin ice at the moment as Albon manages to get past the Mercedes. Whoa. It's almost like he's missed a gear. He's in first gear. It just almost stalled, didn't it? Yeah. Basically, he was running so few revs, maybe everything a little bit cold, it almost stalled on him. Look at that, that worked beautifully for Ricardo. It's about to get spoiled a little bit, but I don't think it's his fault. Watch for Hamilton coming up our inside, and nothing Daniel could do about that. As I said, and, and Bottas really had to spin in sympathy. So this is Valtteri Bottas, who had not one, but two incidents on the opening lap. That's the first one that relegated him to the back. And I think down at turn nine, he also had another moment with Esteban Ocon as well. Keep an eye on this. Short shift to get better traction. Change gear early, that means. And presumably Raikkon's going to break himself, is he? Good stuff, Carlos. Big fan of your work. And I have to say, Carlos's work was relatively straightforward there. Ferrari are getting ready for a pit stop. Yes, I wonder Leclerc. if this is the Charles Leclerc, because he's also in that part of a train of cars with Valtteri Bottas going absolutely nowhere. And it is the intermediate tyre. So a bit of a gamble for the man who lives in Monaco and who has that famous casino just down the road from him. Let's see what he can do. I would say this is a bit early for the Inters. But let's see. Profit, key moment, Charles Leclerc, purple, sector two, sector three, a second quicker than anybody else straight away. So the intermediate tyres are the one to have. Red Bull need to get Max Verstappen in now to try and jump ahead of Vettel. The boys and girls in pink waiting for Stroll to come in for his pit stop. It's a so-so uh, middle sector for Verstappen though, so I'm not sure he's doing anything good enough at the moment for that overcut. Let's see. Very careful, stopping onto his marks there, and away goes Lance. Stroll, 2.9 seconds. Uh, Perez goes through and into the lead. Verstappen stays out and takes second place. Alex Albon in third. Who's that coming through? Daniel Ricciardo, who hasn't pitted yet, and the speed in the pits is good enough to get Stroll in and out ahead of Ricciardo. 
as into the pits comes Sergio Perez. Verstappen stays out. Albon stays out. Intermediate tyres for Perez. Problem with the front right. That's going to be a slower stop. 4.9 4 seconds. That's almost double the time that they would have wanted. How costly will that be for Sergio Perez, I wonder? Ted, are you watching Verstappen? I am. It's just beneath me. It needs to be absolutely perfect. It's a bit too long. What's going on? There's a little bit of a change on the brake ducts. I think they were removing some tape on the brake ducts. That was a second or two longer than it needed to be. So uh, Verstappen comes out, and there it goes. Number 11, Sergio Perez, right past. He's going to be behind that. It's going to be so close with Hamilton. It is going to be very touch and go here for Max Verstappen as Sergio Perez, who was ahead of Verstappen for, for his pit stop, gets back ahead of the Rebel, who does keep his place to Sebastian Vettel and to Lewis. Hamilton but only by about 30 metres he's gained hasn't he critically he has gained with that even taking some cooling tape off the brake ducts it did get him ahead of Bettel because it would have put him behind Hamilton yeah. otherwise so well done Red Bull Antonio Giovinazzi is trundling and I think that's the best word to describe it uh, towards the edge of the track and he's found a nice gap for those marshals to push him back and that looks like some sort of mechanical problem uh, for Antonio Giovinazzi he is out of this race and the first driver to go out of this race Verstappen in third place. Here comes Lewis Hamilton down the inside towards turn uh, 12 we go. Switches to the outside. Now is this the way to go? No, if you go that far wide, Lewis, you're going to lose a place. And he did to Alex Albon who was waiting to pick up the scraps. Hamilton tried the move on Sebastian Vettel. Alex Albon was the man that made up a place and he goes into fifth. Yeah, Lewis locked his brakes. He, he didn't as much switch to the outside as have to avoid an accident. <laughs> This is the run down towards turn seven, and that is how he managed to get past the uh, Ferrari. Seems that he switched his tyres on a little bit better than the two around him. Max Verstappen has asked a really valid question. Why haven't they enabled DRS? Because the spray isn't that bad, Martin, now, is it? So you'd have thought the race director would be thinking about it now. I'm not sure they ever enabled DRS when you're on intermediates and wet. Oh, look at oh, that. Here there's, we go. There's a chance for Max Verstappen. Because Sergio Perez didn't get out of that little chicane very well at all. And Verstappen is hot on his tail. And Perez keeps ahead by a metre through turn 11. Oh, and Verstappen going goes wide and spins as well. He got caught up behind the rear wing of Sergio Perez and that has proved very costly indeed. He's avoided the barriers but his teammate Alex Albon now cruises past and goes into third place and Verstappen through the mud back onto the track again has lost the podium place and also lost fourth and fifth to Vettel and Hamilton. Frustration coming through there for Max Verstappen. That, that not the smartest thing I've ever seen him do. No and uh, now in eighth place. And that is his penance and his punishment for it. I, I was grimacing as he pulled back on the track, just over the top of that blind oh, yeah. crest. Valtteri Bottas. He's going to want to forget his, this at weekend. At least his third spin today, yeah. isn't it? He is going to want to forget this weekend as quickly as possible. Here's Lando Norris on George Russell. 11th place up for grabs with this move. And oh, he sends one down the inside, bounces off the Williams and manages to squeeze himself up into 11th. Did punch me off the road. Yeah, I saw that. So much wear, Brad. Copy that, Lance. We're just trying to get to dry. So we're trying to get to the dry. We're watching Carlos Sainz, who's uh, gaining on uh, Daniel Ricciardo at the moment. And, oh, Daniel Ricciardo not having the best of times through that little chicane out of turn uh, 10 and 11. Carlos Sainz ahead of Daniel Ricciardo. Sainz moves himself up into sixth place. And in the end, the lack of grip that the Renault was suffering made it a lot easier for Sainz than he first thought it might be. Gets DRS as well to keep him ahead of Daniel Ricciardo. And now Max Verstappen is on the back of his uh, former teammate. That one little bit of traction lost there for Ricardo cost him a place and Renault decided enough is enough we're going to make a pit stop and that looks like a late call 
Charles Leclerc, the canary in the coal mine, again, is putting a lot of people into the pits for new intermediates. Four seconds a lap quicker than everybody else on the new intermediates. And the new inters go on. It's a clean pit stop. Oh, no, now there's a problem on the right-hand side. Ah, that's what you didn't need, Seb. But he's away again. And that's Alex Albon, who has spun around, talking of costly incidents. How costly is that going to be for Alex Albon? Lewis Hamilton moves into third place. Oh, just no grip whatsoever and he did well to stop on the kerb before collecting Hamilton and Kimi Raikkonen who's been lapped we're going to into Lance we're going to put another set of inters on so what do you want with Eric why are we doing that why 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 stay out then stay out everyone else is putting intermediate tyres on as well and that's why they think this is the best thing to do yeah but the, your pit wall has got so much more knowledge than you as your eyes are on stalks trying not to crash these cars so new set of intermediate tyres go on for Lance Stroll good pit stop from the Racing Point crew 3.2 seconds and he'll be back out into uh, the race uh, okay. sorted it all out and Verstappen. there's Verstappen coming through on Lance Stroll so Stroll has pitted there for a second time and is now behind Max Verstappen who surely can't go to the end of this race on the tyres he's currently on and Lewis Hamilton surely can't go to the end of the race on the tyres he's on but yeah did they need to bring need to bring Lance Stroll in a lap or two ago when he was thinking no nope, I don't want to pit just yet and the pit wall was saying no now's a good time to do it we're on board with Sergio Perez who once again leads this race this time he's got Lewis Hamilton behind him in the fight for the lead Hamilton by not pitting really catching up to Sergio Perez now where this plays into Verstappen's hands is if we do go to slicks as yep. if the next transition that wins him back his pit stop effectively doesn't it here goes anyway. Hamilton on Sergio Perez he's got DRS Hamilton is going to make a move into turn 12 Lewis Hamilton takes the lead of the Turkish Grand Prix on the weekend that he can become a seven time world champion where he started sixth on the grid and where he won from the last time he started sixth Hamilton now leads the Turkish Grand Prix and we're on board now with the Ferrari and looking from uh, outside, Sebastian uh, Charles Leclerc behind Max Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel ahead of Lance Stroll. Stroll's going to keep coming back though and trying to get this place once more and he goes wheel to wheel and gets back past Sebastian Vettel. Charles Leclerc ahead of Max Verstappen waiting to pick up the scraps. Stroll has fallen back behind Charles Leclerc. The two Ferraris now ahead of the one-time race leader and so that's Alex Albon in the picture, not Max Verstappen. You've got down the straight Vettel, Leclerc, Stroll and Albon. Fourth, fifth, six and seven it was all swap in about three corners there Albon fancies a chance and Lance Stroll can't get him into turn one noticeably darker on the pit roof now the chill has started to come in it's much colder it's that feeling you get when the rain starts to come there is a big black cloud in front of me right on top of me but it doesn't look like it's dropping any rain at the moment uh, that, that, that cloud that science's engineer says is too fast on oh, there goes uh, Lewis Hamilton just lapping uh, Pierre Gasly in front of it, me but uh, yeah that can't see that rain in the distance we'll see if it Ted happens Ted Charles Leclerc cold. is now ahead of Sebastian Vettel he's got his teammate down into turn 12 and Charles Leclerc moves up into fourth place this is the problem that uh, Valtteri Bottas had it's turn one's not been his friend today at all Whoa. Yeah, one and a half times around oh and there's Roman Grosjean and Nicholas Latifi uh, tangling as well 110 points will be the difference between Hamilton and Bottas at the end of this race, enough to secure the title. And Hamilton, a personal best, a 139.999 with the fastest lap of anybody in the half minute middle sector. How is he finding the grip on those tyres? Hamilton is now a pit stop clear of Max Verstappen, critically. He could pit and come out. Yeah. Uh, whatever happens to the weather now, he could come out in front of him. Pit stop clear of Charles Leclerc now, because Leclerc has just got past Max Verstappen. 
39 laps Hamilton's had those tyres on, 34 laps for Perez. Here goes Carlos Sainz on Alex Albon. Albon thought about trying to move over to the left, realised that the McLaren was there and he couldn't. And Alex Albon has conceded fifth place then to the flying Carlito. It's got to be worth a gamble for slicks, hasn't it? You fire a set of slicks up, you will, as I say, find 10 seconds a lap. You will also find the wall if you're not careful. Oh, Ricardo locks up as Norris was trying to go around the outside. Ricardo has spun as a result of that lockup. And Norris, wanting to make the overtake, was then taking evasive action and eventually does take that ninth place. But Daniel Ricardo was under pressure there, last of the late breakers, and even he.